try now. We're already at your place now. Just, just try. Okay, try. Be a man now. Bro. Ah, put it. Right. Thank God you're here. Please come, 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 come. What's happening to you? No, there's no time for that. Please just take him inside. Please just take him inside. Take care of him. Okay, try now. Try manage now. Try, okay. So, I what do you do now? Eh? What do we do now? Tony, you ask him what do we do? Tony, you you ask him what do we do? You ask him what do we do, Tony? You ask him what do we do? You ask him what do we do? I quit, sir. I.
brethren, before the coming of our Father in the Lord, whom God is going to use to bless our souls, the praise choir has a special number. And as I welcome them on stage, I would like you to jam your hands together for our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, jam your hands together. Amen. Amen. The praise choir has a special song to minister, and uh, the title of the song says "Kelendo Ya." He is not going to be your man. Meaning, praise is the Lord, for the Lord is good. Amen. Amen. As you are listening, may you be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Kelendo Ya, I'm going to be your man. Oh, papa, na de kele, kele nu ya, abonyo biama. Oh, yeye do, papa, na de kele. the man of God, the vessel that God will use for the purpose of enriching our souls. I'm talking about no other than our very superintendent, Pastor Zachariah. Come on, join your hand for Jesus. Children of God, praise the living God. Hallelujah. Praise our living God. I don't think I agree with you. You are not praising God. You are your daddy. You are making it come out in sports. If you want to give praises to God, open your mouth and give him praises. He said, stand on the mountain top and talk for people to know the wonders of our Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, children of God, praise our living God! Hallelujah! Our God is good. Our God is good. Hallelujah. Praise now we are talking. Because God is proud of his own people. God is proud of people who are proud of God. If you are not proud of God, God will not be proud of you. There are people who don't even know that God works every day of your life, every minute, everywhere. That the Lord is there monitoring you, putting pillars around you, putting his guardian angels to guard and protect you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Have you realized it? You see, this song is so inspiring. 
God's blessing is so abundant that we can't count. Have you realized that God is so merciful to you? If we have realized it, what have we done about it? Have we decided to serve him in truth and in spirit because of the realization that his grace is what we work on. That is why we go and we come back. But the earlier we begin to realize some of these things, you don't have to wait for a miracle, one wonderful thing to happen. No. There are people who are so bent on seeing magic or seeing miracles. They jump from one church to another, from this church to this other church. Everybody is looking for where it's happening. But I'm telling you, it is happening right there where you are sitting. But Amen. have you realized it? Amen? Amen. Have you realized the children of God? Have you known that God is so merciful? Have you given him adoration? Have you been giving him thanks? Have you been giving him glory for all the things I've been doing in your life? Some of you have been to the prison, probably a visit, or have been to the, the, the hospitals. You see fellow human beings. Do you think you are more righteous than they are? It is by God's grace that he is giving you what he's giving you. You have one blessing or the other, but you will not count it as a blessing. Unless it comes miraculously. And that is why most of you people run from churches to churches. This wasn't the congregation as at some uh, weeks or months ago. They are looking for where the miracle is. People who perform wonders. Somebody read the Gospel according to Matthew from uh, chapter 16. Matthew 16 from verse 1. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then the Pharisees and Sadducees came, testing him, asked that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said to them, When it is evening, you say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and threatening. Hold it there. They came to tempt him. You know, the seed, the article of temptation is very sweet. You look at it, it catches the eye. They will come and test you with that thing, where you, what you want to boast with. That is where they come. We know the demon. We know the devil, we know his cohorts. We know their ways. And they cannot stand in this church in Jesus' name. Amen. They said, if you are truly the man of God, perform wonders for us to see. Give us signs for us to know that you have this inspiration from God. Or whatever power you say, let us see things happen. And they forget that there are blind people who can't see. And they still receive the same blessing. Amen? Amen. You do not have to doubt except you see magic. What did he tell them? He told them, yes! You are mere mortals. You can come out, look at the sky. You can predict it. If you come out in the morning and the sun is rising and everything is so bright, yes, as a human being, you can say, today it's going to be bright. Amen? Amen. Amen. But if, on the other hand, you come out in the morning, you see the sky so cloudy, you see it so gloomy, of course, as a human being, you can predict that today it is going to rain. Amen? Amen. Read on, sister. Hypocrites, you know how to descend the face of the sky, but you cannot descend the signs of the time. Thank you. Amen? Amen. You can predict these things. You can say what you think about these things according to your own interpretation. But when it comes to the ways of the Lord, shut up. He knows his ways. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. God is, is so mysterious that nobody can decode his ways. So don't try. 
wants us to know that if we do those things that are in the scriptures, he said we should do, then we are on that way to find the truth about him. On that journey that will eventually sail us straight to heaven. So we can partake in that portion where the kingdom of God is. And we can sit down and beat our chest and say we have a living God. Amen? Amen. God's mercies, God's love on us is so abundant. Let us count our blessings. In every position, in every situation you find yourself, count your blessings. Don't always count the negative. You are sitting down here because of the mercy of God, by the grace of God. There are people who don't have the back to sit. There are others who can't even stand, but you have legs to stand. Amen? Amen. Is it not enough for us to give him praise? Is it not enough for us to glorify him? Is it not enough for us to give him honor? Somebody who has been showering blessings, who has been putting pillars, sending his guardian angel around us in every movement we make, in every minute, every second of every minute, of every hour, of every day. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is good. Even here, it says, those people who look for miracle here and there, that is not the way I'm going to count my child. That is not the benchmark. It is not the criteria I'm going to use. In Psalms, let me read. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law that he meditate day and night. Nice. That is the child of God. Omnipotent, omnipresent. Mysterious. You cannot decode it. Don't wait for that magic or that miracle. I know that People who have left this congregation, because I know that this isn't our usual number. Others have left, and they are going to look for miracles where it is happening. But the scripture tells us that that is not the, that is not the criteria for God's judgment of his own child. You have to serve him in truth and in spirit. Amen? Amen. Let us reflect on it. I had this joy when they were singing this music, and I was trying to look at faces to know whether you are listening to your own voice. Because you have to listen to the song to understand what it is. If you want to sing praise to God, open your mouth. Be proud of God. If you are not proud of God, God won't be proud of you. If you are hiding in the cause of praising Lord, oh, you want to go out? No, 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 I don't have to do this in public. When I go home, I will praise him. When I get to the church, I will praise him. You are hiding. You are not proud of God. He will hide during the time for blessing. If you are in your place of work, like every other person goes to work, and something happens, God will not give you blessing there. He will wait until you go into hiding. He can give you blessing while you are sleeping. When you wake up, the thing stops. Amen? Amen. Let us be proud of God. Let us give him praises. People of God, open your mouth and sing praise unto the Lord. Because what he has been doing for us has been so abundant that it is uncountable. Praise is unto the Lord. Men of this God. is the day of God. The day of God.
Alice, how are your children? They are fine, Pastor. Thank you. Come, 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 uh, come here, come here, uh, uh, Maria. Turn your back. Why are you putting on this? Why, why, why do you do it here? Maria, I'm disappointed at you. At your age, you're wearing this kind of thing to the house of God. How many times have I cautioned you people? Yeah, good evening. Uh, come, 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 come. No, no, stay. Come, you. That is supposed to be eyeglasses. It's either you put it in the eye or you pocket it. For this sense, okay? God bless you. So, Maria, please don't come with this kind of a thing another time. Okay? Bless you. What is that your name? Sylvia, sir. Sylvia? Yes, sir. Sylvia, have you heard me preach about the things young girls put on? Yes, sir. Particularly in this church? Yes, Pastor. And what did I say? Did I encourage it? No, Pastor. So why are you putting on this? You, are you sure you really, within your soul, you are ready to serve the Lord? Yes, Pastor. After all I have been saying, you wear this kind of... Supposing I should send you on an evangelical mission. Because it can happen. Do you think people will listen to you wearing this? No, Pastor. Why are you here? You are coming for prayers. Yes, Pastor. Where is your Bible? I have a Bible, Pastor. Look at the kind of Bible. Miniaturized Bible. You are already miniaturized yourself. And you should be trying to please. You should come with a very big Bible. Checking your size. And you see whether God will help you. Go in. May God help you. Thank you, Pastor. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. You must, uh, you're new. Please, uh, sir, I want to see the pastor of the church, sir. I was just coming from uh, neighboring town and I saw the signpost. So I said to come and see the pastor. You don't need to see the pastor if you come to the house of God. You only just walk in. No, no, sir. I actually need to see the pastor. You want to see the pastor personally? Yes. Why would you want to see him? I, I need a help. I'm in trouble. He is the person that will help me now. Who are you? My, my, my name is David. I hail from the neighboring town and uh, I actually was uh, running to the city when I saw the signpost and decided to come and meet the pastor. Okay. I need his help. You hail from the neighboring town your yes, name sir. is David. So yes, why do you want to see the pastor specifically? Please sir, if you know where the pastor is, can you tell me? I, I actually needed to see him. I'm in trouble. As a matter of fact, I am the pastor. Hey, pastor, pastor, please. I, I, I need a help. I, I'm in trouble. What is your trouble? I killed someone. You what? Yes. I am the president of my town's union. And in that capacity, I wielded a lot of influence and uh, power. So, so you used your power and influence to kill? That is one of the sins. The Tenth Commandment, I'm sure, even in primary school they read it. Thou shalt not kill. It was a mistake, Pastor. How would you have said it is a mistake? It was a mistake, but you told me that you wielded power. No, there, there was one small boy that challenged my authority. And it resulted in a fight. So I used a... Uh, Iron rod to hit him on the head and he fell down and died. He challenged your authority. Yes. You see, you people that God exalted, God placed in comfortable position. At times you assume the posture of God or demigod. You see what is a resulted to? You forget that there has to be challenges in life. There has to be challenges 
all over because you are a human being. That post, God placed you there. God can place another person there and bring you down. And you killed for that. It was a mistake. I didn't know you he would die. You kill by mistake, my brother. For me, I mean, it's, uh, it's between you and your God. Because there is nothing I can do. Pastor, no, does it mean that if I pray to God, God will forgive me? Of course God can. God forgives everybody. Not only if you pray. If you pray, confess your sin, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, definitely you'll be forgiven. Whether you're an armed robber, you're an assassin, and that, but oftentimes, you people who come from the big position don't think like that. It's unfortunate. I am ready to confess now. I'm ready to go and pray and confess. Help me talk to God to save me, Pastor. Please. It will still not make the, part, the, the church to harbor you because... What is the, the, the person you killed? I didn't know where the cops, you know, is faster. I didn't know where the cops is. Because all the villagers were after me and uh, I started running to the city. I'm afraid we'll, the church cannot uh, render any help. Hey! Because we wouldn't like police to come or the villagers to come and invade the church. Could have you reported to the police? Please, no, Pastor. I have not. I have not. Pastor, please don't throw me out this time, oh, please. Uh, so what do you want me to do? To help me talk to God. You talk to God yourself. Tell me how to talk to God so that He can save me, please, Pastor. It's your faith that's going to save you. I have the faith. You have to talk to God to save me. Don't throw me out this time. All right, go in and pray. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. You help me this prayer. Thank God. I didn't know you were that. Cheerful giver. Give. Give. 
And you shall receive abundantly. Now, while we bring our offering before the altar, let us open our minds and open our hearts and open our pockets because God planted it there. So while we praise God, let us come out cheerfully and give so that we can receive, so that we can receive. Yes, I was uh, talking with my landlord. Take this thing. I think some of the members forgot their Bible. Okay. okay. Pastor, I've forgotten it. Yes, yeah, so make sure you give it to them tomorrow. Uh huh. Hey, Pastor. Yes. You look worried. Is anything the matter? Uh, I don't think I look worried because I know that uh, God solves his own problem. Well, I told you I was talking with uh, somebody. I was talking with my landlord. Actually, he wanted us to be paying him in advance, mm -hmm. as we used to when we came new here. And I was telling him that the church hasn't grown that much. You know, for us to say, okay, let's start paying in a, you know, advance again. I was appealing to him, let's pay as we go, as we have been doing. But it's nothing to worry. God takes care of his own people. Okay. So that's all right. That's all right. Uh -huh. That reminds me, Pastor. Uh, please don't be offended. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I have uh, some observations to make. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, what is it? Pastor, the way you handle these people, Pastor, you are too straight. You are too straight, Pastor. And if you must succeed in this business, that is not how to go about it at all. I am afraid I don't understand you, David. What do you mean by being too straight and going about this business? Yes, Pastor. When I was in the village, so many pastors used to come to see my father to collect some spiritual assistance with which they perform various uh, miracles in their churches. And I think you need it. Your father? Yes. My father. Spiritual assistant? Yes. What kind of spiritual assistance will somebody seek from you? Well, is your father a bishop? No, oh, no, 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 no. He's not a man of God, but he is a renowned native doctor. Really? Yes. Your father? Yes. So these pastors will come and he will give them this uh, black power, highly potent, and they will use it to perform several miracles in their churches. David, I'm an anointed man of God. I received my calling. I didn't just double into this. And when you receive your calling, God gives you a gift. Yes. Uh -huh. There are people who receive their calling and receive the gift of miracles. Yes. Those are the people that perform the miracles. So don't be deceived. God did not give me that gift of miracles. There are people who have gifts of, you know, teaching, good teaching, and other things. So, I do not actually need the black power you are talking about. Please, Pastor, 
don't be deceived by what you see. I am telling you a statement of fact. Look at those boys that started a few months back. Even before I had a problem. Go to their churches. You see how their churches have grown. I am telling you the truth. You will need this. I want this church to grow. I don't want you to lose your members. You That's the point I'm making. You have to go the way the bad ones are going. David, if I tell you I'm not disappointed at what you're saying, I'll be telling you the lies. I'll be telling you lies, honestly. If I tell you I'm not disappointed. Pastor, you don't have to be disappointed. This was David. The same David that rushed in, trembling, shaking. The first time he came here. And you swore that you were going to abide by the laws, by the rule of God. You swore that you will have your faith. You swore that you were going to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. This is the same David telling me to use black power to do the work of God. Don't be offended, though. Pastor. Let me ask you one question. Right. People say that all powers belong to God. Right. So, whether it is black power or any other form of power, the important thing is for us to let this church grow. No, 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 no. David, this is blasphemy. What has gotten wrong with you, David? How can you say black power belongs to God? It's a gift from God. Why are you backsliding? That's such a fast rate. I'm disappointed. I'm very, very disappointed. God did not give me the gift of getting rich through black magic. God's time is the best. If you think it was right, why didn't you take powers from your father and set up your own mission? Probably by now would have been a very rich evangelist. In quote. Did you think about it? Because it is not written. What is written is written. God says you're going to be this and you will be that. Don't rush it. Come, 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 I need them. You are backslided so much. Our Father, our Father, we chant in heaven. Hallo, hallo. God the Almighty, the omnipotent, the omnipresent God, the mysterious God. God, I present this your lamb before you. Through your power, through your guidance, he was able to trace his steps to the doors of this your house in seek of solution to this problem. And you have showered him with blessings of understanding, and he has been following it. And he said he was ready to accept you serve you. Lord, do not allow Satan and his cohorts to come and have a go at the soul in Jesus' name. I pray that by the time we leave here this night, you are going to cleanse, wash away all the satanic pigments that they are trying to inject into him to confuse him from following your ways. It is not his portion in Jesus' name. You are telling me, oh, I need my money now, no. Ah. No, listen, listen, listen. Sonny, your, your father was so lenient to me. Oh. You should know that. What lenient? I will pay you this money by next week if we you have this offering. Which offering? This the special offering I was telling offering. you. Offering? This is eight months now. And you are going to use this Sunday's offering to pay for, 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 for the whole eight months. What type of offering if is God that? wishes. I'm a man of God. Stop telling me those things. I want my money now, 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 no. Uh, my friend. Sit down, don't put your mouth here. Okay, sorry, sir. Sorry. No, sorry, when your father when your father was in charge of collecting this, here, he he understands. I wonder why you are not understanding oh, as your you father. My father. No, you want to cheat me again. It's not cheating. See, Pastor, whatever, whatever you call yourself, give me my money now. No. In fact, if within one month I do not pay you this money, do anything you want. To are you not cheating? No, no. Are you not feeding? You don't want my younger ones to feed. I pray for all of you. Nobody is going to starve. Please, by next month. I will give you all this money. And God has told me that that money will come. Please. See, if I come here next month and you don't pay me, you don't give me this money. If I come here next month and you don't give me this, I will. Heaven will follow. You will I will. Pay. You will Heaven will follow. Will. I say you should not put your money out. Sorry, sorry. You hear what I'm saying? I will. Wow. And let me tell you, I don't, I don't know the kind of pastor I am. Look at the other, the other pastor. Look at the other one living there. Has two big cars and houses, everything. I don't know the kind of pastor. If I come here next month and you don't give me my money, you see what happened to you. Yes, so you should see. I will pray.
Um, see what I've been telling you? You need to follow me to my father so that he will, uh, he will make you. David, stop talking you about rich. your father. Your father is not going to, to, to give me money to pay for all those things. You know what the other landlord for the church, mm. he has been harassing me. Now the landlord of where I to, not even the landlord, but the son himself, is harassing me. Is your father going to give me money to pay to them? Pastor, my father is not going to give you money. But he's going to give you what you should use to be performing miracles. And once you begin to perform miracles, people will flood to your church. And it will mean money, more tithes, more, 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 more vow, more pledges, more everything. I don't believe in fetish way of performing miracles. Because the money you get from there, it just goes like that. I, I received calling. I received my own calling from God. So I have to wait for God's time to make my money. Now I am telling you what I am too sure of. You see, most of these uh, big churches around, they come to my father to collect that. How are you sure that if, if, if your father gives them that, that thing, they use it and perform a miracle? If God wants to go against it, you can even want to use it for miracle and it will not work. I am sure. I am sure of what I am telling you. Yeah? After all, it is St. God that gave it to my father and my father is giving, out, giving it out freely. Even, even if I have to go to your father, is it not money that I'm still going to pay to, to, to your father? Don't bother yourself about money now. Don't forget about money. I can arrange that. After all, how do I pay you back? For what you've been doing for me since I arrived here, eh? at worst, my father can give you the automobile, uh, the uh, atiba. Then uh, later you just go and pay him. I can arrange that. Eh? Please, not now that I'm even, uh, I'm not thinking of home anymore. I want to remain here. Let us go. I don't like the way you are. So look at the young man so, uh, insulting you I here. Don't, I don't even kneeling down for the young man. But are you sure? Are you even sure if you get anything from your father is going to work? That is it. Because okay, no, if it does not work, reject me and reject me. Let's put it down with you. Ah. Is your father in the village? Eh, just like uh, three or four hours a day. You get there. You can come back the same day. For things to start happening. For you to be rich. I want you to be rich. <laughs> Thank God, though. Eh, uh, Tony. So you mean no one has set eyes on him since then? For oh, where? Well. Nobody has seen him since then, my brother. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, how do you feel now? <sighs> Thank God. Then. See this place are so ah. sorry. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay. The union has sent us to ask again. Has there been any word about uh, David? My brothers, I am as confused as you are. I have told everybody that anyone who comes in contact with him should tell him that I am not dead. That he should come back and stop running. Eh? Let him come back and continue his job as a, a chairman. Ah, we all know the circumstances surrounding this whole issue. Okay, what circumstances? Just admit that you were drunk. Oh. Huh? So you don't mind him? Well, uh, I don't blame David Shah. Bros. The way he take further himself. Me, I was afraid, though. <laughs> Who no go run? Everybody t say you don't die. Look, Ike, that is not the point now. That is not the point. That's what I'm saying now. Because it is you will no say you never eat, go the fight, Nko. Eat. Who is talking about food here? Eh? He hit me with an iron rod, for God's sake. Or were you not there? That's exactly what I'm saying. So, you see me, oh. Because if you say you don't eat before the fight, bro, for no fall like that, come faint. You fainted more out of hunger than the part of the rod. Hey, okay, thank you. Don't enter. Huh? Hey, you want to fight me? Okay, take you want to fight me? Hey, you want to fight again? Please, wait, wait. What the fuck? Can you calm down now? We don't have to talk about who fainted or who who ate. We have to talk about how to find our brother. To bring him back to the union and tell him to pardon on him. I don't like this kind of a thing. We are all mature. Hey, okay. I'm telling you. Your father was so convincing. That man, I said, look, oh, he, he has a very good public relation. He almost convinced me that all oh, the charms that he gave to me they are going to work. He brought this one out and said, this one is uh, he cures a lot of this. Yes. He does a lot of speech, but yes. I still have my doubt. You know, David, I still have my doubt. Listen doubts. to me, Pastor. All your afflictions, all your problems are solved already. Mm -hmm. Let it work. Just first. follow his instructions. 
strictly. And that's it. But no, in spite of the fact that you know I'm a man of God, there are certain things I do not believe. It was because of your own conviction. Yes. Your father convinced me, but I still have my reservation. What if tomorrow, because I know, I know this kind of thing, uh, your father will begin to tell me you did not follow the rules or the laws or whatever. Forget that. That's not my father. That's, my, that's not my father. Well, you're In fact, no. if it is not because people have known you with this Bible, I would have asked you to throw it into the gutter. Let and, us try. Uh, just follow my father's uh, method. How can I throw it away? Mm. Listen, I'm happy I'm elated though a little bit. But I have to try what your father gave to me first. You know, there are a lot of laws. There are some, he brought a, as well, one small calabash. Mm. He brought, he said, that one I have to pour on my door. Yes, yes. Then there's another one uh -huh. in a big bottle. He said, I have to put it in a, a bucket. Mm. And that before I put the thing in bucket, that yes. I should even do that, this thing. Yes. The sign of the cross. <laughs> and that was when the thing surprised me. Yeah, 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 he said, yeah. I should do sign of the cross. But there's another one in small bottle. bottle. That one is so small. But he said I should just put one drop in my uh -huh. hand. That one is the one you won't play with. In the, fact, that one is the cocoa, is the ngene, is the main thing, right? In fact, if you just put it the way he asked you to be using it, everybody where you talk to must follow you and must do all that you say. <laughs> How can I? You should just so try it first. Don't, don't just get convinced that everything is going to work. Let me put it in the mouth and then do one or two things and people will follow me then I will know that that one is working. Simple. <laughs> uh, uh, would you want to try it with uh, that uh, boy's mother? <laughs> yeah, landlady. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they, they, I'm a righteous man. You know, he, has, he, hasn't, he hasn't come to that. But now, yes. there's another problem. What is that? You see, your father kept saying this one is going to work this, the other one is going to work what? Mm. But how do we get the people that are going to perform the miracle on? Ah, no, 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 no. That is no problem. Are you go going to bring people with I you? say I can handle I will handle that. Not that I can. I will handle that. Leave that for me. That is my area. Somebody can. throw this thing away. Let's uh, Leviticus, now it is. Uh, and that mm, Leviticus, lead me in your righteous. Amen. Amen. God works in mysterious ways. You cannot decode the ways of God. You can't define it. You can't even interpret it. I interpret it very well, except you have that divine inspiration. Amen? Amen. It is not by your power. It is not something you do gara gara and you do it and do it correctly. No. You have to have that gift from God. Hallelujah. Amen. God knows how he chooses his own people. And that is why you cannot decode it. When he wants to come, he can go to the market and make a speak. Amen? Amen? God spoke to Samson. God spoke to Elijah. He spoke to Elisha. He spoke to Joshua. He spoke to Solomon. He spoke to Moses. All these are people of God. God's own anointed. And that is why God says, Touch not my anointed. Or do my prophet no harm. Because he chose these people. He spoke to them one after the other. And God spoke to me. Amen? Amen. A lot of revelations. God said to me, my son, your ministry is going to be used as a dagger point to face the devil. Amen? Amen. He said, my son, I am going to elevate this ministry and make it a light of the people of this community. Amen? Amen. And he is going to do it in Jesus' name. Amen. He said he is going to shower blessings upon each and every member of this family. Amen. So you are going to receive your blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. God works in mysterious ways. You cannot decode the word of God. God also sent us a messenger. When the messenger approached this ministry, he never knew he was the sent messenger. 
I never knew. But God revealed it to me and said, look, that is the messenger. Amen? Amen. He sent a messenger in the name of David. You all know about David in the Bible. Another David has come into the ministry. Amen? Amen. Is David here? A David has come. Is David here? Hallelujah. Amen. That is David. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Living souls, I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. A David is come. A David is come. All of you know. All of you know the story of David in the Bible. A David is born in this ministry. Amen. 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 God works in mysterious ways, and the blessings that are going to come from this. I send this one. God works in mysterious ways. He wants to give you a message. He never informs you at all. He just, hey, Pastor Carl, could you sit down there? He never informs you. He just uses you. Amen. He protects his own. God also elevated, if you listen, you could hear the children's department making noise. They need an overseer. And God has elevated Pastor Carlo here to help the children's department. Amen? Amen. So soon, all those noise you are hearing is going to be commanded and quashed by Pastor Carlo. Amen. God works in mysterious ways. It is not easy to help the children because the heart of a child is pure. The heart of a child is divine. It is with no fault. Therefore, if you are going to help the children, you have to make your heart pure. Hallelujah. Amen. God works in mysterious ways. A David is born. I am not going to hold grief for you. I am not going to preempt what he's going to say. But with his own mouth, he is going to give his own testimony. Amen. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Children of God, we are talking about praising God here, and you can do better. I said, Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen! I am very, very happy to be in your midst. But before I say what I have to say, I'd like to start with a question. And my question is this. Is there anybody here who has seen God? The answer is? No. The answer is? No. Very correct. And my second question is this. Is there any person here who has seen the man of God? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. You've seen one? Yes. Can you show me one? Oh, Hallelujah! Yeah. Amen! Indeed, you have seen the man of God. You've not only seen a man of God, but you have seen the sent, the chosen, the established, and the decreed voice of God. I cannot stand here to say all the good things the Almighty God has done for me and my family using our pastor. Because if I start to enunciate all the good things God has done for me, this service will never be over. But I pray all of you here to please join me in thanking His Holiness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Thank you very much. You are holy. 
Hallelujah. Amen. What did he call me? His holiness. His holiness. I never thought of it. And I'm sure he never knew when it came out. God works in mysterious ways. When God wants to use you, you won't even know what is happening until that divine inspiration comes again and makes you interpret. Amen? Amen. His holiness. God revealed a lot of things to me. He said, my son, you are now known and referred to as Pastor Zachariah. But from now on, you are going to be known and referred to as the Most High Zah. He removed the Kariah and left the Zah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Brethren. This is time to show our profound appreciation by praising God. Eh? Let us praise Him. This is also the time for us to offer Him the sacrifice. That is offering. The fattest offering that we can. So I implore all of you to dip your hands into your paws, into your wallet, and bring it out the fattest. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's a great provider. He's a great provider. Oh, he's a great provider. Yes, in fact, I must confess that's a remarkable improvement in the turnout, yes, the comportment of <laughs> members. <laughs> Don't begin to claim it's your father's charm. Of, co of course, it is. Oh, it no. is my daddy's uh, charm that is making it work out. No, we have to uh, give it some time. If it works, maybe and it continues, things continue to improve. That is when I begin to believe. Don't Fine, worry, it's going to it. work, and it's a sign of uh, greater things happening. That's what we pray for. Yes, <laughs> well, let me go to the pastor. Uh -uh. Good evening, most reverend sir. Say it. Carlo, what is it? I want to see you. Are you not seeing me, lad? I mean privately, if you don't mind. Okay, David, please uh, excuse us. Just a few minutes. Let me know what you want to say. Okay. okay. Please sit well. Yeah. Uh, most reverend sir. Yes. I'm inside. Yeah, that is it. There is no need for that. Oh, really? I see. So what is it? Pastor, I didn't understand the drama that took place in the church this morning. Drama? I never noticed any drama. Where, where drama? Where? I mean my so-called promotion to the children's department and your change of title to most reverend sir. Which of the two don't you like? Which one are you quarreling with? Well, I mean, it's not Listen, the Carlo, I'm a man of God. What I give out is what God says I should give out. 
The message I give to people is the message that God relayed to me, and I give it, let it out the way uh, uh, God asked me to do. Do you understand? So, I do not want to begin to, re whether you like it, or my men mortals like it, or they don't like it. It's not my business. Well, Pastor, I come to church to serve God, and not to please anyone. Therefore, God, you must serve. Don't please any man. I buy that idea. Is that so? Yes, that is so. And you fail to realize, at this your stage, this stage of your life in the ministry, you do not know that man is God on earth. Do you talk directly to the Most High? It is through human beings. You relate to human beings, that's when you know what God has said. Do you understand that? So, don't respect, don't please any man. Please God. And that is so. So, good night. Bible talk about Tete and everything Bible talk. Now, if they happen today, man go just day. He do get warm. He go tell himself, he say, make him open church. He go buy him. very much. You are holy. Um, children of God, if you are happy and you know that you are happy and I know that you are happy, lift up your hands and shout hallelujah. Tried. But I know the kind of God that 
that we have. The God of Zah is the, is, is the God that answered their prayer. So I want you to shout this hallelujah in such a manner that the whole world will know that we have a God. You may be seated. Sit down. Like I said, I came here for two reasons. The first reason is to tell you people that the man of God is on his way. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am happy that you shouted. Because there was this uh, triumphant uh, shout. When Jesus entered the Jerusalem, so I am not surprised that the children of Zion shouted, it is allowed. Thank you. Now the second reason why I am here. I am here to announce to the members of this church, especially the new ones, the rules and the regulations of this ministry. Rule number one, at the sight of his holiness, Everybody must bow. Everybody must bow. Good. Rule number two. All the words of His Holiness are incontestable and unquestionable. Amen? Amen. Finally, rule number three. Any sin committed against His Holiness must be subjected to a divine Punishment. Divine what? Punishment. Yes. Anything committed against His Holiness must be subjected to divine punishment. Yes. So, thank you very much. As we wait the arrival of uh, His Holiness, maybe it will be proper for me to tell the choir to raise another beautiful song. Another song that will move the children of Zah so that they can dance while they wait our most reverend Zah. Please. One of their best. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's have it. Upon you. What is that thing? 
Have you sat down to ask yourself such a question? It is only by his mercies you have not done anything. It's just out of his grace. That is why you're here. There are people in the hospital, you're not better than they are. You're not more righteous. You're not even more religious, in words. But out of his mercy, out of his grace, he made it possible for you to be here. Amen? Amen. What have you done for God? Reflect on those things. Count your blessings, but we never do. Until we are in danger, that is when we remember Christ. God, in his infinite mercy, recognizes the presence and the life of each and every one of you. He recognizes that you are living and that he has your own staff for you, all of you, one after the other. Uh -huh. Come, 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 come and stand there. Stand there. You see what we have been saying? Once in every seven days, that is the only thing that God requires you to do. God showers blessings on you. He favors you. He gives you his guidance. He sends his guardian angel to protect you in all your goings and coming. And he says, give me one day out of seven. Give me one day out of seven to pay honor, to respect him, to give him adoration. To give him thanks. And that one day, some people have come late. One day out of seven, upon his mercies. And here, the children of God are coming late. For that one day. Please, please, pardon me. Please. Pardon you. Please. Can somebody read Exodus 23, 20 to 23? If they say, pardon you, I will, as man of God, pardon you. Your holiness, as it pleases the Lord. Exodus chapter number 23, verses 20 to 23. And I read, Behold, I send an angel before thee. Behold, I send an angel before thee. And who is that angel? Your holiness. Who is the angel? Your holiness. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. Go ahead. In thy way, and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. I sent thee in the way, to bring you into the place which I have prepared for you. Go ahead. Beware of him, and obey his voice. Beware of him, and obey his voice. Beware of him, and obey his voice. Go ahead. Provoke him not. Provoke him not. For he will not pardon your transgressions. For he will not pardon your transgressions. Amen. 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 For my name is in him. For my name is in him. As he pleases the Lord. Amen. Amen. For he will not pardon your transgressions. It is clearly written in the word of God. And that is the holy book I'm here to uphold. And that is the holy book I'm here to protect, to present. And those words I must Preserve. He will not pardon your transgression. David, what do we do with them? Your holiness. They deserve 12 strokes of the cane. 12 strokes of the cane, it shall be. Now that I have the cane. Yes, your holiness. For he will not pardon your transgression. It is clearly written in black and white. I am the man that is God. God's representative on earth. The God that you see. Therefore, I am going to protect the word of God. Which is why I'm here. Amen? Amen. Amen. He will not pardon your transgressions. No matter your age. Please, I will not. I, I will not pardon your transgression. I will not pardon your transgression. So says the word of God. No matter your age. No matter your academic qualification, no matter your height, no matter your handsomeness, no matter your beauty, God says, He shall not pardon your transgression. He shall not pardon your transgression. He shall not pardon your It is clear. Oh. It is said that admit not the evil one in your midst if you are children of God. 
So if the devil or Satan wants to go, Satan can go. Don't hold him back. Please say, Satan go. Satan go. Satan go. I leave the children of God alone. Sing hallelujah, amen. Sing hallelujah, amen. Must be prepared for you. Let's go inside, Mama. Let's go inside. I will not get inside that room. Neither will I sleep in this house until you answer my question. Chibuzo, when will you get married? Mama, not again, Mama. Not again. I thought we have discussed this a thousand times. A thousand times without any favorable reply, Chibuzo. Mama. I will get married very soon. Very soon. Very soon is no time. Oh. I want the date. Mama. Mama, I understand how you feel. But it's not in my place to make such a decision. It's not in my place. And who is to make decisions for you? The girl you want to marry or what? Oh, mama, Mama. It's not an issue of girl or lady. I... I... I won't be pressured into a hasty marriage. I'm not a baby. Mm -hmm. I'm not a baby. Hmm. Hasty marriage or pressure marriage. Or what I want is you to get married. I want my grandchildren to be. Mama, 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 for what you're just saying. Like, Chibuza, just go, I want to go inside first. Ah, leave my bag for me, Chibuza. Leave my bag for me. Chibuza, bring my bag here. I will not sleep in your house. Anywhere you want to take the bag to, I am waiting for you here. What I know is that I was carrying my grandchildren. I was carrying them. Just imagine, a successful young man like you, you are afraid of settling down. What is your problem? You must get married and give me my grandchildren. Oh. You must. Oh. oh God. If it is due to that these people used on this boy, it will never work for them. I send it back to them in Jesus' name. I must carry my grandchildren. I must carry them. I must. A successful young man, you are afraid of settling down. Just tell me. I must carry my grandchildren, or I must carry them in Jesus' name. Yes, um, hey, Adao, I hope you are keeping the records straight. I mean, our own. Don't you trust me? Uh uh. This is our workshop. Of course, it is. You should our trust me. I trust you. It is our workshop. Eh? I just want to remind you that you know that he likes money so much. So I don't know. get the whole thing don't mixed up. Too much. Don't talk too much. Okay. Hey, dear. I'm doing it. <laughs> I trust you. Trust me. Have a man. Walk, walk, walk. <laughs> huh. Good afternoon, Mr. David. Good afternoon, Seven. Uh, please, I want to see His Holiness. Ah! What 
Yes. Is anything wrong with you? May God forgive you. Say amen. What? What? I said, say amen to that. Say amen. Amen. Are you mad? How many times did you bow? How many times? I bowed once. Something must be wrong with you. Don't you know that you were supposed to bow three times? That represents the Trinity. You don't know that? What are you still waiting for? Come on, come on, bow. And what is that thing you're holding in your hand? My car keys. What brand of car is it? A Lexus G. Jesus Christ! So you mean you're so spiritually insensitive? His Holiness drives a Mercedes Benz M Class. And you have the guts to drive a Lexus Jeep. Wait, wait. Are you trying to compete with him or something? No, I've been making use of this car. Shut wait, up! Shut up! Shut up! Jesus! And the idiot was even waving his khaki as he was bowing! Do you want to go to hell? Yes. Do you want to burn in unquenchable fire? Please, please forgive me. I'm a poor sinner. I'm only a poor sinner, forgive me. <sighs> now tell us why you want to see His Holiness. Uh, I was among those placed on marriage probation and have come to see His Holiness for a second counseling. Has your seven months marriage probation expired? No, uh, but I have paid up all the marriage sanctification levy, including an extra pledge of 200,000 Naira. <coughs> um, well, uh, young man, it is not possible for you to see the man of God because um, he has a tight shadow. Or oh, Adam, I not right? <laughs> yes, of course, he's on the mountain. Yes, he's on the mountain. Please, disciple David. I am under pressure from the family. I must get married soon. Yes! Did I hear you say you must or that you wish to? What did you just say? I actually wish to. What, what, what are you begging me if I say it's not possible for the man of God to come down from the mountain? It will require a special offering. And I'm not sure you are ready for that. I have some money here with me. You have some money? How much do you have? I have about 20,000 naira. <laughs> you are not serious. <laughs> you are not serious, young man. It's not possible. Go home. Disciple David, please. Um, uh, Disciple Adam. Um, Disciple David. I want to work on this uh, okay. Disciple okay. David. What is it? Why are you disturbing my peace? Please. I need to see the money. I need to see his holiness. I have told you it is not possible. It's not with that kind of amount you are offering. It's, it's too small. Okay, can you make it 50,000 Naira? 50, that wouldn't be a problem. Okay, go and look for 50,000. What are you saying? 50,000 Naira cannot bring His Holiness down from the mountain. I know it's too meager, uh, Disciple Ada, but we can still help him. He's a young man. Let's encourage them to be getting married. Huh? Like I said, uh, let me work on these files. I'll come back. So, if you bring it, you give it to Disciple Ada. And I'll get back to you. What are you still waiting for? Come and make up the money. I'm in the area together. Yeah. I'll just go across the ATM. Uh, go, 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 go and bring it. Thank you. Fifteen thousand is not bad. Business. <clears throat> Use and dump. Eh? Eh? You know go work for you. I said back to sender. We back to our sender. Come, oh, Grace. 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 Grace, I didn't warn you. I didn't warn you. Who is the one? I didn't warn you. I tell you the one. I didn't warn you. I didn't warn you. You know this one. 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 this one. this one. this one. this one. You know this one. this one. Because I come to separate on now make you push me like that, I be grace. Eh? So because I come to separate, now make you push me like that. Wait. Now make you push me like that. Who I want snatch? Now wow. Who I want snatch? Talk! Eh? Talk! Who I want snatch? 
Grace, ma tell you, if I won't chop frog, I go chop the one who get enough flesh for body. Did they hear me? Eh? Did they hear me? You know what snatch? You know what snatch I'm at? Boy, you compliment me today for your back. Why are wearing it? Is a lie. Huh? Stella, waiting. Boy, you take the card. Which kind of question be done? Answer. What in the card they do for you? But talk and make we hear. A mistake you taking to Oh, oh, oh. mistake? Yeah, what? Mistake? 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 Make I tell you, mm -hmm. all of now. Dog, no you own her. Anyhow, where dog take top sheets, eh? He go waka. Jeje, come back house. I go. Come, Grace, let me eat the coach. Hey, Grace, you of course. You are not that now, Grace. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? You are not that now. What are you doing now? You are not that now. What are you doing now? You are not that now. Your Holiness, yeah. there's someone here to see you. A brother. Is he qualified? Yes, he's a member. Let me. For the Lord, Your Holiness, I'm almost 38 years old, and I wish to settle down. You wish to settle down? Yes, Your Holiness. Have you registered among the singles? Yes, Your Holiness. If if you can remember, I was among those you put on marriage probation. We were asked to pay up the sum, some total of 400,000 naira's marriage certification fee. And have you paid? Yes, Your Holiness. I have settled all the obligations. So what is your problem? The, the problem is you ask us to wait for six months. And family pressures. Hold it. Hold it. You want to jump the gun? You want to go faster than the wishes of our God? You want to get married today, tomorrow? Pressure from the family. Do you have anybody in the picture? Yes, Your Holiness. There are three women in my life. Three women? That's a multitude. You must be a very busy brother. What are their names? Uh, the, 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 the first is Grace. What does she do? She's a 300 level student of accounting. And the second? Her name is Amina. She's a banker. And lastly, Joyce. She's an international business woman. International business woman? Yes, Your Holiness. Brother Chibuzo, Your Chibuzo. Holiness. Brother Chibuzo. I'm afraid you have to wait. First, you present those species, the three of them. For our Lord. 
I don't make the choice. You don't make the choice. Our Lord makes the choice. And if he chooses to go beyond the three, that is, where none of the three is qualified, he can dip his hand within the family and give you your wife. So, we have to span within the next seven months so that we will present them before the Lord. If they need purification, we purify them. If they need sanctity, we sanctify them. But, but Your Holiness, seven months is Brother it's a long time, Your Holiness. Hold it. Brother Chibuzo, yes, Your, Holiness. you're lucky. You're standing before God's representative on earth. Your Holiness. So, your destiny can be influenced. Your Holiness. In any way. Because I am here. Because I've got the powers. Because I'm God. Because I am sitting on the right hand side of the Supreme Being. Your Holiness. You are lucky. You could be influenced. And I can influence it. Brother Chibuzo, if you need your destiny influenced, you're going to pay handsome tight. The huger the amount you pay, the faster your marriage comes. If you're able to shake the heavens with a huge amount, the heavens will shake you. If you impress the heavens, they will compress your time for marriage. Thank you, sir. I'll go to the mountain. Go to the mountain. Thank you, Lord. Bless you. Almost done, add a little water, then you can warm this too. I have to be in church in 30 minutes. Church again? Didn't I tell you I have night vigil today? Well, it's not night yet. I have a church meeting before the vigil starts. Agnes. What is it? Are you not tired of jumping from one church to another? Are you not tired? This is not any church, Johnson. Mm. This is the latest church in town, and His Holiness, our Father, is not an ordinary man. Mm. Agnes, come back. Let me ask you. You are a married woman. There is hardly any night that you are not attending one vigil or the other. Or do you want me to remind you that you are married and that you are living with your husband in the same house? <laughs> You make me laugh. Just I make you laugh. Make <laughs> me laugh. Which house? Hmm? Hmm? Is it the house that I've been paying the rent for the last two years? Abbasi. The husband whom I feed and clothed. And that's so poor. Come back here! So, it has gotten to this. That you now publicly declare that you feed and clothe me in my own house. Just because I lost my job. Eh? Address. Just because I lost my job. Who doesn't know? Jesus. Or you think they don't see you? When other men are going to their respective places of work, you are either at the street down there drinking or you are lying joblessly on the bed. Is that whom you call them? Is that? 
And please, make sure you fill the empty cans in the fridge. I think there is no water there. Ah. What's the reason? You're asking me. Today, here and now, you will tell me between you and I who married each other. Oh. Yes. I can see the devil has entered. Oh, you are calling the devil when the devil is here. Why? You see. Mama, eh? I left the city room for this place all because of this same issue. Can't I have some rest? Chibuzo, you are my only son. My only child. I thank God that you are a successful man. What again do I ask God for you? Than for you to settle down. Mama, I have told you repeatedly that I will settle down at the right time. Eh? And when the time comes, it will be made known to me by the Lord. Which Lord? Chibuzo. Are you well? Is anything wrong with you? Mama, I am what perfectly you okay. Saying? I'm perfectly alright. Do you know what people are saying in the village? That you, Chibuzo, use your manhood to sacrifice for money. That is why you don't want to get married. <laughs> yes! How ridiculous. Mama, everything is alright. Huh? I'm only working on my pastor's orders. And I've been given seven months to wait upon the Lord. Seven guineas? Mama, you had me right. Seven months. Why do you have to wait that long? Chibuzo. Because God said so. Hey! Now I know that you are in a court. You have a covenant with the devil. Chibuzo, you have to get married. But let me tell you, I am going to leave your house this night and I will never come back. Mama, this is not a village. This is not a village. It's late, though. It's late. This is not the village. Chibuza! Chibuza! Come and try to open this gate for me. Chibuza! Are you going to open this gate for me? I'm going to the village. Mama, it's close to midnight. Open this gate, please. I want to go to the village. Mama, it has not come to this. It has, oh, it has not come to this, Mama. Leave my back for me. It has come. Mama, I can't allow you to leave this night. It's too late. If you touch me, I will scream. I will shout. So the whole neighbors will come here and see what is going on here. Please be reasonable. Be reasonable. Now I know that you are in a court. Now I know you are a courtist. Chibuzo. Mama, I'm not in any court. And God forbid I join such a group. I'm no. not in any court. Just don't call God. Don't call God on this, this issue. Do you hear me? Granted. You want to leave? Yes. You must you leave this night? You woke up. Mama, relax. Tomorrow morning, I personally drop you out of the park. Me? To enter your car? God forbid that. Mama, it's me, oh. Mama, let's go inside. It's not true. Mama, 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 let's leave go. me! Mama, let's go inside. No! Mama, let's go inside. Leave me. Mama, let's go. Leave me alone. Mama, let's go inside. Leave my back. Mama, let's go inside. Leave me alone. Set down suspenders. Set down suspenders. Set 
Satan suspender. Satan destroyer. Satan destroyer. Evil extinguish. 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 Evil destroyers. Evil of Zion. I want you to make such a wonderful noise so that all the whole world will know that we have trained against Satan and their principalities. I say, make a joyful noise unto the Lord of Caesar. <laughs> combatant of Ezra. Now, if Satan happened to come here now, I want you to demonstrate that you can scatter Satan. simple question for you. If I ask you who you are, what will you say? Soldiers of the Lord! Again? Soldiers of the Lord! Again? Soldiers of the Lord! Again? Soldiers of the Lord! What? Soldiers of the Lord! Attention! Attention! Stand at this. Attention! 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 At ease! At ease! Yeah! We are soldiers! Soldiers of the Lord! In the name of God! We shall conquer! We are soldiers! Soldiers of the Lord! In the name of God! We shall conquer! We are soldiers! Soldiers of the Lord! In the name of God! We shall conquer! We are soldiers! Soldiers of the Lord, in the name of Zah, we shall conquer. We are soldiers, soldiers of the Lord, in the name of Zah, we shall conquer. We are soldiers, soldiers of the Lord, in the name of Zah, we shall conquer. We are soldiers, soldiers of the Lord, in the name of Zah, we shall conquer. We are soldiers. Soldiers 
God bless you. What happened? Eh? Ever since um, His Holiness promoted you to the children's department, no one has seen you in church. Is that what you call promotion? That dramatized irony. Or don't you know the difference between the platform and the floor? Well, Pastor Zachariah. Yeah. Reverend Zach, please. Well, whatever. Oh. I know he got me out of the way in order to pave way for him and his newfound partner, mm -hmm. for them to perpetrate their evil in the church. And I couldn't take it any longer. May His Holiness forgive you. Look, sisters, I beg you in the name of God, don't fall for the deception that goes on in that church. The Spirit of God has long left the ministry. And uh, Reverend, uh, uh, Reverend Zah, as you call him, is not a man of God. He's the Antichrist, a devil's incarnate. Let's leave. Can't stand this blasphemy anymore. Well, my prayer for you and other members of the church is that one day God will open your eyes to see the light so that you can come out of darkness. May God have mercy on you and He forgive you. We are doing this. I'll give you two reasons. One, as mortals, it is always advisable for you to keep yourself in good physical condition. Your body must be strong at all times so that you can fight both physically and spiritually. Amen? Amen. You are going to be used by the Zap to fight the demon. Amen? Amen. Amen. Anybody who tries to trample upon the work of God must incur your wrath. Two, we are even training you to walk in the spiritual realm apart from this physical. If you look through the scripture, you would believe me that almost all the chosen ones that God had picked, that God appointed, have their army have their soldiers, have their guards. They use these people to crush Satan. They use these people to fight Satan and his cohorts. And that is why you must extinguish. And that is why you must suspend. That is why you must demobilize Satan and his cohorts. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we'll be doing this thing every so often. So that I will have people who are going to fight Satan. Because it is through man that Satan works. So if you could crush man, you have crushed the people that Satan uses as instruments. Now, if I have you, remember, your work is physical and spiritual. Anybody who tries in any way to trample on the work of God will not face the angels will not face God himself, but will face you. Amen? Amen. Hey, hey, hey! Stop! Stop there! Stop! What is it? 
What is wrong? <laughs> My husband. The what? <laughs> he beat me up because I insisted that I want to come for the women's all night to collect my blessing. Take her in. <laughs> you see what I have been saying? These are the kind of people that demon used to walk. That the devil used to walk. It is your duty to stop and make sure this kind of people don't exist. It's either they repent or they don't exist. We stop them from existing. Look at what you did to a human being that they call your wife. The so-called husband. Look, the scripture makes us to understand that when you are married, the two are one. Therefore, if you are hitting your wife like that, you are more or less hitting yourself. Amen? Amen. It will be crushed in Jesus' name. Amen. You will demobilize it in Jesus' name. Amen. You will extinguish it in Jesus' name. Amen. You will demobilize it. Amen? Amen. Attention! Spiritual above! Satan suspenders! Asso! Spiritual attackers! Asso! Evil extinguishers! Asso! Zabobo! Asso! Don't ever. Nobody keep it for too long. Let me get you a I've been talking about what Pastor Candice said about uh, his holiness. What did he say about his holiness? What are you thinking about? A lot. You agree with me that there are a lot of unconventional practices and doctrines going on in the church. Oh, please, please, Neka. If you want to follow Pastor Candice to his new church, you can do so. Alright? Instead of making me sin against his holiness. What's say? That's not what I mean. All you wanted to understand that there's many things going on in our church and you know it. Please, Neka. I said I don't want to hear. What is even wrong with you? See, have you forgotten that it's a sin against his holiness to talk ill of our daddy? Have you? Eh? May his holiness forgive me. Oh. Ah, please. Can you bring it up here? Can you bring your opener? This one where it takes two hours they make up. I beg anything they happen. Mm -hmm. Well, I am on my way to see my husband to be Chi Wu Here! <laughs> you keep calling him your husband, your husband. But we all know that he has hardly proposed. Babe, I'll be not be so. I tell you. Eh eh. Just hang up. Hold your off for there. Did they hear me? <laughs> Not true, say true to the bitter. I beg, Della. I beg, Anita. Make you wanna for me. Just wanna for me. Nobody cut your mouth during this discussion. You didn't hear me. Now I just say, did they hear me? Now I make you go for bad. Now they check him. Abby. <laughs> now they shout. Now they shout. Now they quarrel. Della, I don't do. Don't do. I beg. I beg you too. Okay. Hey. So they send you, Abby. They don't send you. Uh uh. Grace, what is it again now? What is she doing for my bed? She doesn't sit down for you. For what? I beg, I beg, no talk. For what? You know how this has done for this bed. Hmm. Eh? I beg, I beg. I take, take, take. Give me my bag. Give me my bag. Happy, happy, wait. I'm not just like this one like this for this room. 
I'm not just like I'm at all. What's the deal this one? Wait. As the other bitch, let me get come out. Now my sister be this. She go come out one by one. Stella. Mm. I don't like I'm at all. Did you vex me? Now the truth I talk. I don't like her. You. Now me and you. But Grace, if you cool down, look and well, you go see Stella true way Stella the talk. Hmm. Oh, so you two don't join. You don't join. I'm a boy. I broke up. Hey, hey, just hold on there. I say hold on. I now know say she don't initiate you. But you don't go work for two of them. You don't go work for now. When I go sit down for this room, I go marry. Won't pick him. Hurry up. Back to send her. Back to honor. If not cause, me I don't jump. Me I jump and pass. Hold on, bye bye. You don't see. Bye bye. Go on and do some. I go. Go marry. Choose it. Choose up. Let me have it. Now you make this girl just talk to person in here for this room, Abi. Oh, I beg. You they tell me I beg. If you not go for bag, go snatch your husband. All this problem for the happen. Not talk past like this, the end. Just not talk past like this. Keep on, just keep on there, yeah. Oh my, keep on there. No, just allow me face you. If I face you, I go back for you. Ma, tell you now. In the yara, which kind, which kind nonsense be this one now? Keep on there. Just keep on there. I go just pack my things, JJ. Keep this room wrong one. Better. Just leave. Bless you. Bless you. You say who did this to you? My husband. Your husband? Go be this callous. How could somebody who has conscience inflict this kind of wound on a daughter of Zion? He ran blows on me, Daddy. He did? Where else did you sustain bruises apart from the ones I'm saying? My abdomen. My back. Even my chest, Daddy. Christ, my donor. Will you forgive him? Your chest? Yes. <laughs> that is defiling the temple of God. Defiling the temple of the daughter of Zion. Do you feel any pains? Yes. Any pains? Yes. Oh, God. And what happened to me? Yes. The devil is a liar. He's in trouble. Does it pain? No, no. Does it pain? No. My God. Any other place apart from the these ones that you said because you could have internal injury. Did he use his feet to, to kick you for instance? No, no, no. Are you sure? Because you may not know. The demon has a way of walking. Do you feel any pain here? Do you feel any pain? No. Any pain? No. And it doesn't pain you here. Alright, remove that dress. Let us perform cleansing, divine cleansing, because the way devil comes, the way devil comes, let's find things on you. Do you believe you are a child of God? Yes, sir. Do you believe in divine power? Yes, sir. Do you believe that you shall, you shall be healed? Do you believe that wicked shall never go unpunished? Yes, sir. And I say, the wicked shall never go unpunished. Say, Amen. Amen. You are so precious to God. Say, Amen. Amen. Now, this God. No daughter of Zion could be defied that the person will go free. So says our Lord. So says our Lord. So says our Lord. So says our Lord. Sit down here, sit down here. Devil is a light and devil is in trouble. Lose your hosts. Lose your host. Lose. 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 Say amen again. Devil, you are a liar. God, you say it. Nobody shall defile your temple and then go unpunished. The devil is a liar. Satan is strong. The devil is a liar. Say amen. Say amen. And amen again. The devil, the devil is a liar. Cleanse it. Cleanse it. Cleanse it. The devil is a liar. Satan is in trouble. He's in trouble. Uh, uh, no. No, uncle. Uncle. Uncle, she. She did not want to listen to me. There is nothing I did not tell Mama, but all fell on deaf ears. Uh, yes, Uncle. She she left this morning. Uh, uh, Uncle, please speak with her. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I will call you before the end of this week. Uh, thank you. Yeah, bye. Hello, 
Honey. I'll meet baby. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Why you say that? I can't see I'm okay. Really? Yeah. I thought you'd be very hungry. Then I took time and prepared your favorite. Really? I know you like it. Beans and yam. <laughs> Let's go to the conference table. Oh, you prepared it? Yeah. Well, no cooking is my hobby. I know. You know that? I know. <laughs> and I promise you one thing. Um, I promise you, you will keep fast and we'll eventually get married. Really? Yes. Um, I just attended a friend's wedding day for yesterday. Yeah. And everybody there was saying I'm the next. <laughs> Honey, where would that be? Soon. Soon? Yes, yeah, soon. And I am an accountant. <laughs> an undergraduate. What makes you believe that you are an accountant? I say, go out there and fetch your own. This is mine. You needed to see the way Chibuzo was talking to me in his house. The way he treated me, he don't allow me to even allow, allow me to say anything. I said it. I said it to Munyed that that boy Chibuzo must have a skeleton in his cupboard. All right, the last time he came to the village from the city. Come and see the way he was spending money. Eh? I tried to call him to instruct him in the way of the Lord. You need to see the way he replied to me. I knew that something must be wrong somewhere with that boy. Hey, Naye, he was even talking to me about this church. And I know indirectly that it was the court that he was telling me about. <laughs> Munyedi, do you need any other confirmation? Uh, were you not the one who told me that he openly declared that uh, their pastor is God? He won't. Now tell me, which man of God or pastor can equate himself with God in heaven? Nobody. Eh? Even Bishop Obuji, Bishop of Anisha Diocese, have you once, either on the newspaper, radio or television, I had him equate himself with God. A big one. Now let me tell you what some of the so-called new generation churches call a man of God is nothing but the, the, the spiritual leader of the court to which they belong. Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> now my fear is this. When they enter these courts, they make covenants. 
covenant. Yes, all sorts of covenant. All right, some for short life, others for celibacy, and all many types of uh, devilish demands. Now the problem is we don't know the type of covenant he has entered. Hey. Okay, if it is for short life. They will not live beyond 40 years. Chibuzo, is that it? Oh. Hey! Okay. If, if it is uh, going uh, childless, that means you have to forget about a, a grandchild. Hey, nine. Yes! Hey! It's as serious as uh, There's not much we can do here than to pray for him that God intervenes. As far as I'm concerned, that's the only solution. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. You can't kill yourself. You can't blame yourself. We can only blame Chibuzo, who has allowed the crave for dirty money, for devilish money, to be cloud his sense of reasoning. Eh? Nay. Chibuzo is my only child. My only son. What will I do to Chibuzo, guys, now? Hey, for Please stop, brother. Please beg his holiness for me. Because my husband. Shut up! You think you're the only one that has a husband? Huh? That was why you disrupted the service. Stupid woman. It's not because my husband. Better shut up. I'll flog you now. I'll flog you well, well. You know I don't take rubbish now. You know. I'll flog you very, very well. please. I didn't know I left my phone on. Provoke me not, for I will not forgive your transgressions. Are you familiar with these words? Yes, Your Holiness. Exodus 23 verse 21. So, you know you deserve to be punished. Your Holiness, I'm sorry. It was my husband that called and I... Your husband? Is he a believer? Does he worship you? No. He goes to work on Sundays and he's occupied with his work. An unbeliever? You're married to an unbeliever? You, daughter of Zion, clinging to a Babylonian. I hope you know what I'm talking about. Your, your Holiness. Does it mean you have looked round within this family of believers? You didn't see any suitable man? Not in this family, not even in the larger family of believers and you went to take an unbeliever for a husband you see what is that landed you to you have transgressed against the lord therefore you have to be punished your holiness he's 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 a police officer he still will not influence my judgment neither will he change it do you understand that is why we insist on you going within the family to take a man or a man going within the family to take a wife. You see it. Ada, take her to the private quarters. In fact, take her to the inner chamber. Okay. She's supposed to stay there for seven days for divine protection. And within those seven days, she's not to have any visitor. No friends, no family, none at all. She's banned from seeing any visitor. Okay? Your Holiness, please. Please forgive me. My husband will not permit it. Please. Shut up! Please forgive me, Your Holiness, please. Your husband will not permit the will of God? Yes. It's not your husband's words against the word of God? Please take her away before she provokes me. This is blasphemy to the superlative order. Please take her away before she provokes me. Ah, your Holiness, shut up, please. How dare you talk when His Holiness is talking? Stupid! Hey, 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 don't your whole neck, please! Ah, just Bye bye, boy. Carry tight. To be a call. Shine.
daughter of the Lord, praise God. Hallelujah. I said, daughter of Zion, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, um, daughter of Zion, His Holiness sent me. He said I should come and inform you that while we were praying for your case, that um, it was revealed to him that your husband wants to take your life. Yes. As a matter of fact, the first requirement they gave to him was for your life to be taken away. Okay? But um, he has uh, prayed over it, and uh, the God of His Holiness has taken care of the situation. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. So, do not be alarmed, okay? Do not be alarmed. Because if you consider all that you told us concerning your husband, you would have concluded that that man is wicked, evil, and desperate. So, thank the God of uh, His Holiness. Oh, Praise God. Thank God. Yes. Now, both of us have taken care of the first stage. Okay? So he directed that I continue, since uh, it's a simpler thing to do. How? Oh. All right, I will tell you. Listen, in the next few minutes, I will be transported into another realm where the Holy Spirit will take absolute control of my life. And in fact, I will lose every thinking because I will be in another realm, the realm of the supernatural. So, whatever that comes out of my mouth, you must obey. Otherwise, the army of the Lord will be angered in such a manner that they will seek for vengeance as a result of their disobedience. Is that clear? Yes. Is that clear? Yes. Now close your eyes as we pray now. Yes. 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 Abba Father, Abba Father. Abba Father, Abba Father. The Father of His Holiness. The Father of Reverend Zah. The Father of the Most Reverend Zah. I call on your name this hour. I call on your name to come and perform that miracle. Come and show why you are called our God. The living God. Father, Father, your daughters and marriage need to be saved. Remember, you have started the work. That's the work we must finish. That's the work we must finish. Direct us on how to go about this. Put your words in my mouth, Abba Father, so that this miracle will be performed and the glory will be returned to you. Father, Abba Father, you have always answered us. You have always answered us, especially at this type of uh, crisis. It is yours. Amen. In the name of Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a Father, take control. Take control. Amen. Take control. Take control. Send your Messiah. Send your Messiah. Amen. All your archangels. Amen. All your Holy Spirit. Amen. Let them enter me. Let them enter me. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming. Amen. Let them say, rejoice. Rejoice. Amen. I am receiving. Amen. I am receiving. Amen. Yes. 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 Enter me. It has entered. It has entered. It has entered. It has entered. Ah! That she should do what? Do what? Or oh, remove her clothes? Good. Good. Thank you. I heard you. I heard you. And your words, I must obey. Daughter of Zion. The Spirit of the Lord says, take off your clothes. Take it off! Take it off! Off! Ah! Ah! My body! I will do! I will obey you! I will obey you! Let her take it off! Take it! Take it off! Ah! Take it off! Take it off! name of the pastor with respect. Pastor, a human being. Why do you leave me? 
Do not touch his anointing. Who I said you? The prophet, you shall not take him aside. Who said you? Zachariah, I will do everything possible to bring you down. Yes, I met you. Surely I will not go down alone. I will bring you down. enjoy this movie if you did not enjoy it not to worry you can let me know what you think in the comment box below you can also like and share this movie and subscribe for free you also have the opportunity to go through the playlist and check the best of nollywood hits